So any new parent or parent-to-be, as far as that goes, knows how bewildering Shopee can be for a brand new baby. And there's so many different options out there, so it's hard to know exactly what you do need and then to go over all those safety features and know which is right and which is not. So we get some help for this, and we called upon the fab mom herself, Jill Simonian, is here. Hey. And she's going to demystify this whole experience for the new moms and I am. parents. I am. I'm ready. Here's okay. the clue that I always go by. As someone who has had two babies in two years, the one thing I've learned is to keep everything thing simple go back to basics I like to tell my new mom friends pretend like you don't know the gender of what you know the gender of the baby that you're having and just go for what you absolutely need and then the second part for registering is to figure out what you're not going to use and what you don't need for instance I am not that mom that uses the gadgets in the kitchen I knew that I was not going to be making my own baby food so I didn't even register for the baby food maker figure out what you're not going to use and then just break it down and be simple so, so this is your the strategy, your strategy right? this is the okay. strategy this okay. is it. Yeah. So okay. we have to look at things from that perspective. So, you know, we talked a little bit about, um, uh, you know, the safety features that are out there. So many things kids friendly. Then you hear that there's a recall yeah. or you hear like, oh, that's not good after yeah. all. Where do we begin with that? How do we know about recalls? Is there Recalls, unfortunately, you know, everyone always wants to know how can you avoid the recalls? How can you get products yeah. that are going to be safe and not recall? The fact of the matter is you just... There is no way to know what product is going to be recalled. There's voluntary recalls all the time for a variety of reasons. What you have to do is get reputable products, good brand names that you know have a good reputation, mm -hmm. read the instructions, put them together in the way that you're supposed to put them together. I mean, I know this is all cliche and common sense, but they're just reminders. And when it comes to recalls, you want to be informed. As a new parent, I always like to, you know, check out the different government websites because they will alert you. What um, is it? What's it called? Consumer, there's three major ones. Consumer Product Safety Commission, the Food and Drug Administration, and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. That one is specific for car seats and then for me I always like to tell parents to follow different websites on Twitter I like Baby Center and Right Start because they will send out alerts in terms of what products are being recalled okay so what are some of the miscellaneous <clears throat> products to really to prepare with to prepare with these are the basics I brought the absolute little you know how I said keep it simple yeah. I brought the absolute basics because a lot of times new moms including myself get swept up in oh I want this frilly thing I want this thing you got to go back to the basics and think what am I going to need? And I always like to say prepare for the entire first year of baby's life just to take a few less things, you know, to take a few mm -hmm. things off your plate that you're going to have to worry about. Register for diapers in different sizes so that you always have a pack of diapers if your kid goes through a growth spurt and you don't have to run out to the store and get the next size up. Different sizes of diapers. I always like to say, you know, if you're going to use bottles, most parents obviously end up using bottles to feed their babies. Get the bottle nipple, nipple sizes that progress from slow flow, medium flow, fast flow so that it lasts throughout the first year so you're not having to go to the store to buy the next Mm -hmm. the next level up and that was something that I had to do I was constantly going to the store to get these things because I didn't think ahead uh, obviously before I had the baby medical kit this is just basic knowledge the snot sucker here you yes. go the snot yeah. sucker this comes in yeah. so <laughs> handy. I mean I still use it, it does to this day on my it really old. does and you know the basics you just want to have infant Tylenol you're not going to use it right away but just so you have it in your house that first year onesies underwear of all different sizes to last through the complete first year because kids grow fast you want to have them on hand they're gonna you know pee poop spit up everything on them so you want to have <laughs> multiples and then of course a lot of new parents don't realize that you need things to put the baby in to move it from day to day two to three things like this to move the baby around day to day to keep them entertained yeah, rocking this, chairs play pens you yeah this little gadget here was wonderful I know you like this I knew you'd, find it. I knew you'd find the squeaker <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, also, and you can put a picture of yourself in there too, Mark. Yes, I could. Well, I had one, and <laughs> right then you here, took right it here. down. Oh, yeah, Mark fantastic. Here, you know, look, it is, it is a baby we'll shower. <laughs> it's a baby shower, which is about gifts and all. We do have a gift for our new moms. Jessica uh, Alba has provided the baby product yes. line, Honest. It's a full basket. Let me move this out of the way. A full basket of organic baby products that make taking care of your brand new baby such a joy. So, one for Natalie and one for Ruzon. This is so and of course great. the dads because all they're going to be in here you know what dads are getting more and more involved too and i just know mm -hmm. the, that zach and aaron are going to be heavily involved as well yes. all right so let's talk about car safety car seats mm -hmm. because this is one of those that can be a catchy 
thing. Yeah, this is obviously you, the car seat is the first thing you need because you can't take the baby home from the hospital without a car seat. Right. So some of the safety things to look for in a car seat, car seat specifically, and these are all pretty much standard when you go to get your car seat. You want a five point harness, which means the straps come from one, two, three, four, five between the legs because it reduces the chance of ejection, God forbid, yeah. should you get yeah. in a car crash. You also want, and like I said, most car seats have this, but you also want the two-point uh, fastening clicking system because once that kid starts to learn how to you know, unclick and click, it yeah. makes it more difficult to them to weasel out of their car seats when they're older. This is a, um, a uh, oh my gosh, the name is g Good out man. of my mind. Um, ah, rebound. 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 rebound, rebound, thank rebound. you. Oh, okay. um, this, okay. <laughs> this is an anti-rebound, thank you. Oh. This is an anti-rebound bar and it uh, reduces the impact oh. should you get into a crash because it's a rear-facing car seat and this goes oh, against the sure. back of the seat. So that's good. And then Can I just point yeah. out I just found this here. Look, there there's a what do you call this thing? It's like, it's like a, a level. It's like a, a level or what, yeah. what do you there's change a little bubble it with the weight of the baby? Just to where see. Well it sees where you it sees where you're probably yes. level on the yes, seat. Yes, yes, yes. So you're in a in a safe position. I perhaps, love that. Yes, and Fantastic. then of course we can't forget the um, the side impact head protectors. The material in here is made from the same things that they make bicycle helmets from. So it protects Perfect. the kid's head. Let's go over and talk about crib safety. As we mm -hmm. go, I will tell you, uh, there's never more important drive home from the hospital than that first one. I know, you and you drive, go so slow, right? Yeah, you're driving so slowly, and you want to, you know, we planned our trip home at a late hour, so there was no cars on the road. Oh, very so nice. So we just That's drove good. and. Isn't there a law, though, you can't take the baby out of the hospital unless you have a car seat? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. You, you cannot, cannot take you the cannot. baby home without it. Right. <laughs> it is the lie. My yeah. guys were so talented, they actually drove home. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, crib safety, here we go. Crib safety, here we go. Okay, most cribs, a reputable reputable brand, they, you know, they all adhere to the safety uh, guidelines. Crib slats should be no less than two and three, eight, of an inch apart so that you know limbs don't get stuck mm -hmm. you want to check that the mattress you want to make sure that you have a firm baby mattress to present uh, excuse me to prevent any kind of smothering you want to make sure that I mean this is common sense but when you put the crib together shake it and make sure it's sturdy this is a good sturdy crib yeah. good job guys yeah. uh, shake it and make sure because that baby once they start to stand they're gonna jump up and down yeah. you want to make sure it oh, stays yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. and then check this check the um, slats to make sure that nothing is loose and um, that's about it. And your baby's yeah. good. That's great. We're all Thank good. you. And Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, simple? It's, is it simple? Yes. It is. Okay, good. So we can we we streamline stuff. I love you the strategy. You gotta have that in place when you do it. Look, we left all this stuff on our website for you. So if you have a chance, jump over there and you get pick up all the details we just shared with you. Or for more modern mommy knowledge, you just visit thefabmom.com and you can follow Jill at Jill Simonian. That's right. Yeah. Thanks. Tweet away. Right. Up next, we are celebrating our dads. With a bachelor party. Yeah. Sounds a lot like bachelor party, doesn't it? I don't it think could it's the get same a, thing. No, no, but boy, mm. boy, we want to make sure, because I know Dean, and he has something up his sleeve, including a survival kit for us guys, so stay right where you are. <laughs> yeah. I was